very good morning class in the previous lecture of first chapter yes first of all it's third part of the first chapter supplementary reading in the first and second part we discussed about the first chapter and in the third part we will take grammar section as uh, let me explain you my procedure first we explain the grammar rules and regulation in the previous in all the videos i i make i make sure that each and or each and every portion of grammar section will cover so from now onwards we will take a chapter and after completing the chapter the next part only we will take grammar section with an example so that will be it that that will give you helpful set a helpful relation got it so let's start from now onwards suppose here the first slide chapter 1 Explanation complete, meanings complete. Now we have grammar. Similarly, all the prose and poetry that I have explained in the previous videos and earlier, I will take grammar day after day. Got it? Means the entire portion of grammar will be covered. As you know, taking grammar is just uh, expressing the examples only. As the examples will never ask. This kind of examples will never ask in exam. But I am just taking part so that I will. I am explaining all kind of examples only. We are taking just example. That's it. I have taught you rules and regulations. That's the only mandatory things for you. Example is not mandatory. You have to prepare example of your own. You have to research examples and then you have to do a lots of practice for examples. Here we are doing one kind of practice only. Got it. So this is the first step. Now in every videos after completing the lecture, we will take grammar section. Let's begin.
These are the examples of voice. One, two, three. First, I had to build up my car. Active voice. Yes, we have discussed this change of voice many times. So, this portion just make sure that you are getting answer with your rules and regulations. Okay? Recall your rules and regulations. So, I had to build up my car. My car had been pulled up by me. As the question is in past in a perfect, in a perfect. So we have had here me. Got it? I had pulled up my car. My car had been pulled up by me. Now the second one. This is Pumphrey. This is Pumphrey. Pumphrey. This is Pumphrey. Is it? This is for Miss. Miss is only. Miss is Pumphrey. Run her hands. Run means. This Johnny, her hands, her hand appear were run by Mrs. Pomfrey. Got it? Here the subject would change as an object. Now third one, I had made my plans in advance. I had made plans in advance. My plans had been made in advance. See, here both, is, both the examples are the same. Both have perfect. Past perfect, I had made my class in advance. My class had been made. Got it? This is perfect, not continuous. Got it? So, uh, in advance. Here, there is a chance that the second sentence may become. There is a chance that my class had been made in advance by me. Because here, the I as a subject is not considered as an object. As the sentence did, did not require this, there is no requirement of this word as an object. Or okay, this is the one kind of you know complex sentence. If you if students, even the students will say that here the object in advance the subject. This is not the it's not that word, it's not that thing that every last word becomes the object and every one first word becomes the you know, subject only. It is not necessary. Then, sir has told me that every word is subject, so put it in the last, at last of the sentence, and every object is become subject in passive, so put it here. This replacement will create a harmful scenario for you in your marks. Got it? So, it's not necessary. So, you have to understand the rules and regulations you have to prepare, but you have to understand the condition of sentence. And after understanding, you will replace according to, that, according to that condition instead of replacing by your own. So here, I had made my plans in advance. My plans had been made by me, by me yeah, in advance. It's necessary that you will write. It's the, definitely you will write plans. Uh, my plans had been made by me in advance. It's necessary. But here. If, by me is not written, it's alright because the entire part, entire phrase explains the concept. My class had been made in advance. Here it justifies that the plan is made by me only. Are you getting? If you are, if you need to justify it again by your sentence, you can read, write my class had been made in advance by me. Got it? It's justified. Here the subject object is interchanged according to the condition, according to the situation. So, we'll make sure, you will make sure, I will make sure that the portion of, you know, uh, writing this explanation, writing this example makes your marks good. Okay, it, is, it may create a helpful portion. Now, we'll move on.
One more thing, class. In coming days, there may be chances that you will get a chance to ask a doubt. With me. you can share your doubts, you can ask some doubts with me. Okay, to me. So make sure that you prepare the worksheet properly. Read teacher words meanings because in the English. Uh, it's a grammar section. It will create a uh, you know, fluctuation with, uh, with, uh, while we will discuss in the doubt session. So it's just you know it's a uh, I told you secret or you can say a leak of the portion that you may get chance. I don't know is it possible or not. But suppose if you will get chance, then prepare the box properly. Let's now we will discuss in the next speech. If the question will be that speech, you have to convert it in that speech. Now, just recall the, all the rules are used of that speech. Then who said to whom, the, it's that, that should not, and all that. Now, let's start.
Now here we have two examples of indirect speech. First, Rudd said, did you cut down on the sweet things as I told you? Did you cut down on the sweet things as I told you? Right? Yes. Here we discussed in the indirect speech that when that is not used, when the when there is a question, so we will not use that word. We will use ask instead of say. We will use ask in question in query. Usually, ask is a standard question. Most of questions will contain this format only. So, Edward asked if she had cut down on the skin things as he had told. As he had told, he said yes. Edward asked if she had cut down. If she had cut down on the skin things as he had told you. Got it? First of all, you have to understand that it is not a continuous sentence, it is a simple sentence. But it's the chances that uh, you have first of all, here did is there. Also, the question starts did. Then you have to change the change in had cut or had told you. Got it. Now we have the second example that he said, Are you going him? Are you giving him? Plenty of exercise. He said, Are you giving him plenty of exercise? Then, here also, the question is asked. So, he asked if she was giving him plenty of exercise. Here, the question is not in a perfect tense, it is in a continuous tense. Continuous tense, present continuous tense. You have to understand the thing that the question is present, past, and what? So it's a present continuous. So you have to make it continuous only, but making is a past. If she was giving you plenty of exercise. So these are the examples that will help you. As you know, if you remember the words and regulations, that's okay. But if you will not practice the example, you will not get the exact you know, conditions and situations. If you will face a situation like this, then you will understand that yes, in the lecture, sir, sir told me that if the question is in the present continuous, then we have to change it in the past continuous. If the question is in the perfect tense, then we have to use head, head, got it? So it is past perfect, so it becomes head. Now we will go for the third example.
Look at the last example of that that speech. See, in this example, most of the things has been changed. First of all, she replied as the implied is as it is, but we have used word that. Then the non question. Got it? That's simple. Now, first of all, look at the question. She replied when he has his little word here. In the book, uh, that night he discussed about the change in pronouns. When the male, he, his, him, if uh, female, she, her, hers, and the neuter, it. So here, he has his little walk with me. Here the me is she. So here the pronoun will change as her. Now, as you can see, now we'll go again. When he has his little walk, here has will become head, become first perfect, has become a head, is little war with me, means with her, as you can, becomes past, you could, got it? In that next speech we have seen simple present tense will become simple past tense, can will become could, shall and become should, so here can becomes could, and you means for you, is reporting that you means he is reporting that you is like he, you is he. So that's why we have mentioned. So it was also it was also one of the important examples, and it explains you that in a sentence there may be chances to change the sentence in five to six. In the, there are some five to six chances changes in the sentence. See here, has becomes had. In that as it is, me becomes her. You have to recognize that me is. Yes, here, me is she. So you have to understand calmly what's first. Then, in example, so read the sentence properly so that you will get what you should use instead of me, his or her. Got it? So it's one of the example, important example. And here that right, is O. Okay, so here it's one of the example and the 
question is do as directed. Question is do as directed. In, in that one of the question is like this. Okay, the question is do this was the only way to say it in brackets in the uh, change in negative. This is the only format that is asked in the exam. They will ask five questions as do it question. Okay, point my words and mark my words that all the questions that are asked. I am writing here and the same format I am using. So, hear me carefully, not hear, just listen me carefully. That uh, do is, if the question is asked, do is directed, then it will be asked from 5 to 6 months. 1 month of negative, 1 month of negative. Okay, so here the question is this was the only way to save him. The answer is there was no other way to save him. Okay, simple and so. So here, negative portion in chapter 1 grammar section is over. I hope you will get, I am taking this much portion only. The next portion we will take assertive, affirmative and anymore. Got it? And here our lecture is over. Thank you very much.